Hello and welcome to Spooked, uh, a game created for uh, 2021 Hackathon for Superbase. Uh, first of all, I would like to, to thank um, Framer and Superbase for creating these amazing tools um, that allowed me to, to create my submission. So, in order to, to explain a little bit about the concept of, uh, of my submission, um, it is a game, um, like a puzzle game or um, uh, attention game, where the players, uh, they compete uh, either solo or via multiplayer, um, in order to find the right combination among uh, a randomly generated uh, grid of uh, shapes and uh, colors. Uh, Superbase uh, was uh, used here in order to uh, create the, the database for the client, for the users, as well as uh, create the lobby hosts uh, where the players can uh, create games and wait for other players to join them. or get the list of uh, available games and be able to join. Also, Superbase uh, is used in order to uh, communicate the changes uh, between the players in real time using a subscription uh, in order to show where, whether or not the player is ready or when a player um, has, uh, has performed an action. And both uh, clients are updated at the same time. So this, uh, this solution here has, uh, and that was the concept, that we can create a multiplayer game without actually having uh, some backend code. Uh, there is only the Superbase uh, API uh, and, uh, and the Superbase uh, database. And everything else is uh, on the client side. So, First of all, uh, I used uh, the, the Framer uh, prototype tool, uh, which uh, behind the scenes you can write code in React and TypeScript. So uh, everything uh, is written on their online editor. Um, and it is very easy for, um, for Framer and, uh, to connect to Superbase. Um, so I had to create a basic, uh, basic component that I can drag and drop uh, and I can add my database uh, URL and database Enon key uh, and it will automatically co connect to my Superbase um, uh, project. So that was uh, very easy to set up um, and then uh, everything else is used through the TypeScript uh, and basically JavaScript uh, SDK for, for Superbase. So in order to see a little bit uh, the game in action. So here I, I get connected to Superbase and automatically I create a randomly generated um, user uh, with, a, with a randomly generated uh, ID. And all I have to do is to, is to pick one of these uh, scary avatars because the theme is Halloween. So we'll pick this one. And basically now I have created my user, which is the leprechaun um, on, the, on the Superbase database. Uh, right now, uh, I think there, there is one game. Um, so let's create our game. I will add it like showcase and I can play either solo or multiplayer. I will choose multiplayer and add a password like one, two, three, because I don't want anyone else to join uh, apart from uh, whoever I want and whoever I give the password to. So if I create a game, so here we, s we see that so the game is created with the name of showcase and there are a bunch of data here which is uh, my my player information 
um, that needs to be on the database and on the on this record in order for the other player to receive and know who I am. The other data here is the random combination of uh, all of the available uh, uh, here of this uh, randomly generated um, grid that has been created. So in order for the other player to receive the exact same grid and to recreate it, uh, all of this data is saved on the database and shared uh, among the, the players. Uh, the, the password of the, of the game is md5 hast, so we never store uh, plain text uh, the, uh, passwords and is uh, also rehashed on the, on the other clients uh, in order to be validated. So here we have the minimum players, it's, it's one or two. Um, then we have the last heartbeat, which uh, is, the l is the time stamp where the last action took place. And uh, basically we have, uh, we have also pre-generated the, the solution, the, the target that the players have to find. So, so this can be shared between the players and can be then validated on the client side uh, in order to declare who is winner. The first one who finds it is the winner. So let's join from another, uh, from another browser. Here we can see the showcase. I'm asked for a password. And I connect to the database. So right now, the exchange has been uh, between all the players. The, the record has uh, been updated. And now the players, if I refresh, and now the players are two. And this is shared between uh, these two uh, devices. And uh, we can get the avatar, we can get the name, we can get uh, the ID for the other players. So right now, we need to sync uh, their actions, so they start at the same time. So they start by, by checking, by toggling the ready button. So when both are ready, and uh, we check that against the minimum players. So here should have like the started, only one of them has the ready button, as you can see. Now, if I start here as well, I get the, the target combination that needs to be found. I hope to find it very soon. Um, so it's green, yellow, and green square. So let's see if we can find it. It's this one, yes. So uh, right now, uh, the winner has been declared because on the client side, the, the first one that found the, the right combination posted on the database um, on the winner. So when, when ever, any client connected uh, receives that there is a, a winner found um, and, they, and that ID does not belong to them, uh, they automatically assume that they have lost and the winner uh, is shown a different uh, a different message that they have actually won. Uh, so upon the host closing the window, as you can see, the game is also removed. So in order to avoid any uh, clutter in the database. Um, and this is also automatically done by the clients. So if you just exit and you don't press OK, uh, the game is not, clo is not removed uh, because there's nothing, uh, there's no action uh, to be done. Uh, however, uh, every client checks the list of games and any game that has a heartbeat that, that uh, is over one hour, uh, they automatically remove it. So the clients themselves regulate um, the, the database, uh, let's say, clutter to reduce uh, the games that are idle or have been abandoned. Uh, of course, this would be better handled by a cron job and uh, uh, 
a, a basic uh, uh, server-side uh, script. Um, but the proof of concept here is to create uh, a complete solution uh, using only clients and the Superbase database. Uh, and I think, uh, to, for the most part, uh, that is uh, achieved and uh, many games can, uh, can exist at the same time without any, any issues uh, or problems. Um, thanks all for watching. Uh, you can find the, the repository uh, with the code and some explanation and documentation uh, on the description of the video. Have fun!